Not sure if you've seen a bunch of these videos on my channel before with snacks and stuff, but I've been doing a lot of DIYs recently because I've been really just enjoying them. So yeah, these treats are really good, really easy, just great in general. And since Thanksgiving's coming up, it's just perfect. You can make these for your appetizers, for your family, and have them on Thanksgiving. And they're just so good. Let's just get on into the fall treats. So the first DIY treat are mini apple pies. So you'll need some mini pie crusts. I just got a pack of six for real cheap and then apple pie filling or any type of filling that you want. And then you just scoop a few scoops into the crust and then I put it onto this um, oven safe uh, dish thing. I don't know what to call it. And then I put them in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. And when they were done, they were so good. And you guys gotta try these. Your family will love them for Thanksgiving. So next is pumpkin French toast. So you'll need to just fry some Pam on a skillet. And you'll need one fourth cup milk, one egg, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. I only had a half tablespoon, so that's why it looks like I'm putting a lot more than two tablespoons in. So yeah, then cinnamon, and I just to put on a bunch of cinnamon, because you know, yeah. And pumpkin pie extract or pumpkin pie spice. I didn't have pumpkin pie spice, so I used extract. And then half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and whisk those together. And then once it's whisked all together, I added some more cinnamon because I felt like it needed more of it. And then I added some more milk because I feel like it should be more liquidy. So yeah. And then I just put bread in it and marinated it inside. And I be sure not to use like whole wheat bread or rye bread because then it will like you won't like taste the pumpkin and stuff. So yeah, then I just cooked it on a skillet and yeah, till it was golden brown and put it on a plate. This was so good and perfect for mornings. You just make it the night before, it's quick in the morning. So next is pumpkin spice latte. It tastes just like the one from Starbucks. So you'll need some pumpkin spice coffee or any type of coffee that you have, just a cup of coffee. So since I had the pumpkin spice, I just brewed that. You could use regular coffee, obviously. So then a half cup of warm milk, I just put it in the microwave for a few seconds. And then a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of honey. I was just eyeballing these ingredients. And then a packet of stevia or Splenda. And then two tablespoons of pumpkin puree and then whisk them all together and then add your coffee and since I had a Starbucks cup at home it was just like a reusable one that you get from the store from Starbucks that's only like two dollars so just put it in there and yeah this was so good and you got to try it make it for your family for Thanksgiving <laughs> it's so good and tastes great so we made apple pie earlier, but we're gonna make apple pie bites. They're totally different and these taste so good. So you'll need an apple and I just cored and sliced it, I guess you'd say. I don't know what this thing's called. And I really should have, you really should, you know, peel them before you uh, core them because it took a while to do it all. And then I cut it into cubes, and then two tablespoons of butter into another baking dish, and then microwave it. 
and then I just put in all of the apples the apple cubes inside and then mixed it around to marinate it yeah and then in another bowl I added three-fourths cups of light brown sugar and then you need Pillsbury Crescent Roll Doughs and then uh, I just put the brown sugar on the on each of the triangle things and then put apples on top of that you can actually what the recipe said was to add apple pie spice to the brown sugar but I didn't have any and then I just rolled it up so yeah it tasted really good without apple pie spice never heard of it heard of it before but I guess it's a thing so then I baked it for 12 minutes at 375 degrees I see that you're done. So, they look so good. Just from this image right here, they were so good. And I, these were actually my favorite out of all the treats. You just cook them till they're golden brown, and I just want one now. Looking back at this, they were so good. Out of all these treats, this was one of my favorites. Actually, it was my favorite. It was so good. Your folks will totally love this for Thanksgiving and I finished the whole plate. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video for fall treats. I hope you guys try these out. If you do try these out, send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter or any of that jazz or even Snapchat because I have a Snapchat if you didn't know and it's Irish underscore Becca 11. You should add me on Snapchat. Subscribe to my vlog channel. Also subscribe to this channel, my main channel. Yeah, this girl on the screen right here, this is Rebecca, and I'm an awesome gal, and I make awesome videos, and I hope you guys enjoy them <laughs> as much as I love making them. So, yeah, just hit, hit that big, big red subscribe button, as red as my shirt, down there. <laughs> Become part of the Rebecca Nader family, because this family's awesome, and... Everyone in this family knows it. Like, we're an awesome group of people. So follow me on all my social media. That'll be all in the description box below. Also, my Snapchat's on there, too, if you didn't hear me clearly. Or if you want to make sure you didn't hear me wrong, it's down there. So, you know. And, yeah, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye. Love you. Mwah. Oh, that was good. <laughs>